Does that work, Kelly? Okay, great. All right, hey, Anne, take it away. Hey. Um, yeah, I feel like I've been on a, a this fast moving train since just started. Just, and it's like almost, it, it got like almost too fast. I felt like it derailed, but I got back on and I was, and I was okay. And I, and I like move, you know, I've moved through and I keep moving. So before, um, let me get this down here. So what was my life before the volcano? Before I came, before I did the gist, um, I really loved my work, but I didn't like the structure. I wasn't, didn't get, wasn't getting acknowledgement. I was getting paid very little. Um, I was, my mother had died like eight months, seven, eight months before. And just working through a whole lot of family dynamics that had been difficult for a long, long time. Um, it, renting where I live, just kind of like, am I just going to settle here for a while or what? And then I did the gist and all of a sudden all this stuff just started like happening really fast within that week. Um, I want to pre preclude this with something that um, I've been listening to the peace calibration every morning and, and listening to Kip's um, peace calibration in the morning and at night. And that in that he says, um, giving gratitude for that which I am about to receive. Yep. And that's just, that's, that's kind of where I've gotten. I, there were years ago, I was just like, I didn't, I couldn't even get to gratitude. Wow. Uh, it just didn't even register for me. I'm like, what is gratitude? I was just so angry and resentful and all of these feelings that were just so strong. I didn't know how to get to it. I moved through, I moved into joy and then gratitude. And now this stage of really, really getting what that means, giving gratitude for that, which I am about to receive for that, which I have not even received because, and beginning to understand what that means that it's happening in this moment. There are so many planes and dimensions and levels that it really is happening. I may not be seeing it, but it's happening and giving and giving gratitude for that. So that's really, that's really like shifted for me just since just. Um, and so I've been working for this health program, health and wellness program, really love the work. But like I said, it just wasn't, I just wasn't feeling like it was giving me a, a return on my investment. And right, like within two weeks of just my supervisor, who I had a lot of contention with stepped down, and I was given her position. So I went wow. from just answering to a, a, a non-existent supervisor, basically, to being in charge of nine people and getting a raise. Um, I got clarification um, from somebody across on the other side of the world about my mother's soul journey. And everything just kind of settled out with family and with my and, and with my mother. I just got I just got, a, a, you know, peace around that which was really, really nice, which gave me peace around the whole fa family dynamics. Um, my voice, I just feel has gotten stronger in terms of speaking, literally speaking, what it is that I want and then what, and what I need. Um, and that's come out of, um, I also got notice that I have to move at the end of the, at the end of the month. So I was between putting an offer in on this house, which occurred to me after a couple of weeks that maybe I could do that or what, you know, what I, I'll do. And I did put an offer, which was counter offered way, way, way above what I really want to pay. But at the same time, I have had two friends who said, you know what, don't worry about the transition. Um, so I'm feeling like I'm just getting a lot of support to be able to explore my other options. Um, I'm not feeling like, because I've always felt like I had to do all of, all of these things on my own, but more than anything, I think is that I, I came into just not knowing any, oh, in a relationship, like where it just came out of the blue and it, I mean, just, it, it's like with, with bound with clear boundaries and all kinds, you know, all these kinds of things that I just didn't have a relationship before. Um, and without having to know what the answers are, or what's happening, or where is it going, and 
Um, so just being able to be in relationship in a very, very different way. Um, but I came in wanting to connect with my soul family. That was my declaration and my, and my coach is Angela. And I, that's what I had said to her. She's like, you know, what is it that you really want? And all of that stuff was, it wasn't really there. And some of it, I didn't even declare. I mean, I knew I wanted, I needed to do something about my work, about my job. I needed to earn money. I needed to have more recognition uh, for the work I was, you know, doing, taking care of, you know, communications for over, for over 8,000 people. Wow. Um, and that did happen, but I declared that I wanted to collect, connect with my soul family. And I just feel like my heart really opened up with that being heard, having that really heard by people who like can relate to that. And my whole perspective on what my soul family means is like, has, has, has changed. Wow. So it's like all this stuff that's happened and I'm sure there's more. Oh, my daughter's husband, who has, I've been on basically his hit list for the last 11 years. He, um, so ever, ever since they, they met, he, um, we've reconciled wow. and we, I spent a weekend with them and we all went out, my daughter and I were going to do things. And he says, yeah, I want to come along. And he, and he was, and he's like, Hey, your mom's really nice. She's odd, but she's really nice of his own volition. And that he spent time with us. We had champagne to celebrate a whole bunch of stuff. Um, my promotion and their new house and just like, just these, all of these relationships just settling out that have been in resistance for so many, many years. Wait, and can, that, I, can and, I just, can yeah. I just get clarity on that? Cause I have not heard the update. Yeah. Did you, on the that, house? did you say that your relationship with your daughter is starting to reconcile? Not my, not my one daughter. Okay. I have two daughters and the one daughter. No, I haven't heard anything on that, but okay. my daughter's husband. Wow. Who also for 11 years, Wow. About the same time that my second daughter has not spoken with me, but wow. he's come into like, just like, yeah, your mom's cool. Yeah, sure. Yeah. That's like, let her, you know, yeah, come on down, take care of the dogs. We'll hang out for a few days afterwards. And you are odd and we love you. I know. <laughs> thank you. I, just thank wanted to, I wanted to hear updates. I wanted to get clarity. Thank you. Wow. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks for like remembering that. That's, um, that's so cool. Thank you. And yeah. Like a few weeks, really, like six weeks since. I know. Year. I mean, that is wild, Anne. Wow. I Wait, know. No, there's more too, though. You weren't even done yet. I'm gonna let you finish. <laughs> um. No, I think that's kind of it. Oh yeah. Um. This target behind me is um to remind me of like it's a metaphor, but it's also true. Yay, Gally! I know this is like super cool because over a year ago, um, I had. I realized that I live near this mounted archery um, course and stables and um, fields. And I stopped in to watch a competition and I was like, this is so cool. And I took a whole bunch of pictures and I sent them to people afterwards. And I'm like, I want to do this. And my picture and, and I have my phone, my screensaver, you know, it cycles photos and photos from that would come up and come up. But I had carpal tunnel and I had a frozen shoulder and a torn rotator cuff and I had like all this physical stuff that I just felt like I couldn't like be doing archery on horseback and during gist there was um there was a clinic for it and I was able to go and since then I started doing mounted archery and that is my first arrow from a horse so yeah riding from a horse and just like and so then I'm talking in in one of uh, uh what was it kelly a coaching call angela was was there and you were there and um i was talking yeah, to you I don't and it was my group coaching call but yeah your your coach coach angela dropped this seed <laughs> yeah yeah she drops in the bullseye because she said that's your new name your, your new name a couple weeks ago bullseye and because i'm like all these targets are you know being hit without really knowing that i was like aiming for those but and you use that metaphor of the arrow the spiritual arrow to begin with and that's really become an arrow I mean you know for me analogous to kind of what's happening in my life and what I want to be happening is to declare that because I was I was afraid to hit hit the bullseyes 
I was afraid to declare that. So, so afraid of the outcome. Wow. I didn't even want to declare. And th- in this past two months, I'm like, yeah, declare away. Oh my gosh. And that's- like, that's, you know, with that voice thing. And so Kelly, she's, I'm on that phone call with that. I mean, in this Zoom call. And Kelly's like, I do mounted archery because we were talking about his sign. And like, what's your sign? And, and then Angela drops in the bullseye. And I'm like, oh, yeah, it's like the bullseye. And Angela's like, yeah, I do mounted archery. And I was like, I was like, just the parallels are just crazy. I know. And then she shows me her. Yep. Just, yeah. Yeah. So pretty you know, exciting. I don't, I don't do mounted archery, but I've done mounted archery. I'll just say that. And I know how hard it is. So for you, for that to be your first shot, that is absolutely insane. Wow. Insane. <laughs> I know. I know it. Very cool. Wow. So yeah. What a magical story. That's- oh my gosh. And can you even imagine what the next year is going to look like? Holy crap. I can't. Wow. I cannot. I have no oh. idea. Yay. And sitting here not knowing where, you know, it's actually like what's happening with, you know, it's like the house moving, where, what, when, how. Just kind of in this huge transition mode. Yeah. 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 And, and, you know, that's that's one of the gifts I think that BizCraft gives to many people is this ability to feel comfortable in the uncertainty. Mm. It's like just kind of like trusting, having faith, putting one foot in front of the other. And um, it's not about, oh, everything in your life is going to be perfect from now on. It's mm. it's even when things are going unexpectedly or uncertainly or or wonky or or whatever, you find a way to thrive in that no matter what. And when you do that, and when you start to adjust your align, you align your vibration with that and your attitude and your mindset around that, everything else starts to line up with it. Like these relationships healing out of nowhere and all of these other things just falling into place. Um, so thank you for just being such an amazing example of that. Just within the last few weeks of you signing up, that's just phenomenal. So yeah. cool. Yeah. I can't wait to see what else unfolds for you. Thank you. Yeah. 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 All right, guys. Big fan. All right, so Thank guys, give us a yeah. in the chat. Let her know. 